the long goodbye. Meanwhile, at the Music Fest, a few days later, again, our drink topic from Mike Go. What's up, Mike? Thanks for the help, it's Sugi. I need to hurry back. Why don't you go look around and enter Kingdom? I'm the only one at the office right now, anyways. Really boring for you, I bet. Of course, if you're after some alone time with me, then by all means. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll, I will uh, humor you. Yes, please. Alright, let me show you how we adults like to have fun. Nah, I'm just kidding. Besides, if I make a move on some on you, some people are going to be after my head. LOL. Well, Wanatsuki is the, uh, pretty much the chick magnet of this game for, well, all main females. It kind of makes sense. And I think we're gonna use some side characters, too. I'm, I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. And... Well, anyways, looks like the, the Enter Kingdom is close to its finale. Things are really heating up now. I think everyone should be somewhere around the city. Maybe in... And the thing closed on me. Seriously, why is that thing that's annoys me. I can read that quickly in my head, I cannot read that out loud quickly. <sighs> Maybe I have the advanced start performing again? Well, we'll just have to find out today. Now, won't we? But anyway, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Smiling Jet 4 here, and welcome back to the three-part finale of Tokyo Mirage Sessions Fire Emblem, as in the first part. Last time, we, well, I were doing a few little minor tests, you know, like getting a duo art, changing classes, etc, etc, we took on Medius once again to purify the world from all evil. At least that's what it sounded like. It's, uh, when you fight a Shadow Dragon, it, you would assume as much. I mean, there's not much else to assume at that point. So if you're at all curious as to that, make sure you go check out the video descriptions playlist down below. I will tell you this much, it's much shorter than the original finale. I'm um, amazed because the epilogue was pasted onto that as well, which, mm, well, I guess it's bigger for poison. Uh, but anyway, speaking of the epilogue, today, for part two, we're going to be, well, how do I explain this? You guys remember when we originally did this part, the epilogue and all that? And as Micah said, you should probably go talking around to everyone here in the city somewhere. Somewhere here in Tokyo, Japan, and all that. So, we're gonna be doing just that. And here's the thing. Actually, never mind. I, I was about to say something, but uh, I think I'll surprise you guys instead. But yeah, we're basically gonna be going to find every character here in the epilogue, because last time I did not do so well, and I got feeling, uh, there's more interesting stuff to, uh, to talk about. Yeah, I can put it into better words, so, but all that said, let me grab my phone real quick. I got guy who just right, because I got my kid, I got one of my kitty cats sleeping on my, my uh, little lap, and I don't want to disturb her. She's, uh, she's a cute, 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 so. Alright, let me see here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I got the list all ready to take care of. I know where each of the locations are, so I'll be doing this in my own order. Basically going from, let's see. I guess it's more of when we uh, first met them. So, starting off with the character who we did not know where to find before, which is kind of sad considering she's been with us since the beginning, Tsubasa! Where we find her, we just gotta go past this little thing right here to do. And first of all, yay! We actually crossed the sidewalk this time without something happening. And by that I mean the video crashing, or slowing down. I had bad luck starting up this episode, I'm dead serious. I think this is like the fifth or sixth time that I've actually had to do this. And it's only it's like three minutes long each time, thank goodness, but still that's rather annoying. Anyway, Tsubasa. All we gotta do is come over here to the little cafe. I don't know what the place is called, but I guess we'll find out once we enter. Just go on in here. Once the thing loads up. Suki. Hey there, Subasa! Why are you here? I'm very curious. Yes, yeah, Here. Shh! Is Suki quiet down? Be 
you but my you, you Oh, sorry. I guess you're a pretty big name around here these days. Huh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry. It'd be great if we could just hang out like we used to do. Don't worry about it. Besides, I'm happy to see that they've gone that famous. Thanks. I know I said it a lot already, but I wouldn't have gone this far if it hadn't been if you hadn't helped me, Itsuki. Well, you're the one who put in the effort. All I did was cheer you on. Not exactly... Not exactly much. you cheering me on was the most important part to me. Really? I'm not sure I get it, but hey, as long as you're happy. You don't have to get it. I guess that's more like you anyway. <laughs> now that the Shadow Dragon's gone, and all the Mirage attacks have stopped, having all this free time is... weird. I know, right? Oh, uh, where do I begin? And the kingdom is also over too. Does it not feel like a challenge anymore? <laughs> nope. Being that the kingdom is over, there's going to be a lot of work to do. Itsuki, I want to get even better at dancing, singing, acting, everything. I want to be able to make even more people happy. Yay! So, I want you to keep cheering me on, okay? Of course. Always be there for you. Oh jeez, it's late. And you start heading back. I'll see you later, Suki. And she just fades into non-existence. But yeah, if only I had known that earlier. Just can be found right here at the cafe. That would have sped things up so, so well. Yeah. And you know what? While we're here, and because, well. I like getting, getting new things done first and foremost. We got down this pathway to where the old little uh, thing was, the old idolosphere marker. We can find Yoshiro right at the, uh, I think it was the Odin concert hall, if I remember right. This place where we saw Yoshiro's first concert, we can actually find him and talk to him. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, okay, so I was right, it is Odin. I was going for, um, talk to Yoshiro, because we are here right now, and why not? Zero self time. Hey, don't we? This was a surprise. Hey! Yoshiro, should you really be walking around here? Things might get rough if a fan sees you in front of a concert hall. Or some past artist like myself is perfectly capable of dampening their aura of fame. In this state, none shall recognize me. I'm not sure that's how it works, but... Hey, I... I guess I'll just roll with it. That's pretty amazing. Again, I don't see how that was correlate or anything. It... Why do I try and explain these things? This is a game where Mirages attack Japan. I can't stop watching you think they like that. Anyway, uh, what are you actually doing here, Yoshiro? I found myself some spare time, so I thought I'd indulge in a little walk. Well, it didn't look like you are walking, you are just standing in front of the concert. Oh, having free time is strange. Until now, I would spend my any available second on bettering myself and my abilities. Perhaps because I've lost my dragon purpose in life. I'm to avenge my father. Shiro. But we've already spent time getting over this! This whole point of your side stories! I confess. I have something of a loss. One might to live for now. How about your fans? Or you should decide that for yourself. I think you should decide that for yourself, after all. You have plenty of time to come up, come to a decision now. Hmm. I suppose. I shall take my time and consider my new possibilities. I have my things go. It feels though talking with you has lifted no weight from my shoulders. I think I'll stroll around the peaceful city for a while longer. I'll see you around. Okie dokie. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now then, next up on the list. Let's head on over to... Where was it? 
Tubbo Rooftop, home of the Hero Show. With our best bud in the whole world, maybe second best, I don't know. I don't know the origin stories of these guys but prior to this game. Toma! Ba -ba -da -ba! What's up, man? What brings you here? Seems like Tokyo is still going crazy over Enter Kingdom, so I thought I'd go take a look around. Uh, what about you, Tumla? Yeah, I can't, same thing. I know it's my part for the Hero Fest, so I'm just taking it easy for a little. You know, Suki, when you look at Tokyo from this big rooftop, you can really see how peaceful it is. It all is. See all the couples, families walking around, bits of people doing business stuff, audiences. Same old Tokyo. Time to believe that this was all that close to just getting wiped off the map. I mean, pretty much nobody else knows any kind of weird incident even happened. Yeah, now that you mention it. When I first became a Mirage Master, all that power really shocked me. In the end, though, it just felt like a pie trick. And look at us now. We saved the world. I'm still not over that. I never would have figured things would go that far. Yeah, me either. I don't think anyone, any of us did. It's Suki. The only reason I fought like I did in that last battle, and then just freak out and run, was you being there with me. If you weren't there, I would have dropped the ball somehow and ended up too scared to keep going. So, thanks. When the break's over, I gotta get ready for my next gig. I think that your part was over for Hero Fest, but... Later, Suki! You want? Know Fine. See you around, Toma, buddy. I'll catch you on the next one. Alright. Next up, heading back to Shibuya. Shibuya! To the 106. Gotta say, this is gonna be quite the vocal stretch for me today, isn't it? Going through all the voices one last time. Well, probably for the last time, I'm not sure. But alright, we're here, 106. Over here, there is no memory, but there is Kyria. Which I'm fine with. It's at least someone. Hey Kyria, are you on break? Yeah. I'm just waiting until my next performance comes up. The show's been, been going great. I feel like I've really done myself. Yeah, it is packed. It's really been a huge success. Even I can feel the excitement from the crowd. This is such a huge part of so many people's lives. All those who love music, and even those who don't. It's has been what I was playing for. It's been the one to protect. And in the end, I didn't feel it. Yeah! Nice work! Alright, next up after we took down Shadow Dragon. I guess that means we don't really have any more reason to find it. That's a good thing though, isn't it? I guess. Well, it seems. I kind of feel like a bird that's broken one of its wings. Huh? But something fighting with the wings that helped me soar. And now that I have lost one of them. Aww. I mean, it's not like I want there to be any conflict, of course. But, I don't know. It feels like there's this certain emptiness, and I don't know how to fix it. Well then I'll help you! I'll help you fill the up emptiness then. Hey Suki, you can't just say things like that as if it's no big deal. Um, I'm pretty sure I just did, so... But I think I'm going to take some time to think about how to live my life now. That all that messed up with, I got a little more time on my hands. So, if I ever do find my answer, I'll make sure you're the first to know. I'm looking forward to it. I better get going. See ya. Alright then. Now that's Kyria. Next up in, uh, at Daiba. Let's go! Wait, what? 
playing the boys here, but... Huh? Oh, whoops. I mistake. I thought I saw a stage and I thought this place where, uh... Well, the actual person I want to talk to first is... Whoopsies! I guess I made my mistake. Ellie! If it isn't good, I'll Itsuki! Let me guess. It came just to see me. Well, yeah, why else would I be here? I was hoping I'd see you. <laughs> well, well, then just sit back and enjoy a masterful Hollywood class performance. But I'm on break until the next pot, so you have to wait a little before it's my turn on stage. Mm. Togo's gotten really pissed peaceful, hasn't it? Like craziness with a shadow dragon, and the end of the world feels like it was all just some dream. I know what you mean. I really do. I went back and finally concentrate on what's really important to me. My meteoric rise to stardom will never be stopped. As you have mentioned time and time and time again. So, you better watch closely, alright. Yeah, I, I know. I pretty much figured that out at this point. But well, I'd better head backstage for prep. It's not easy being so high in demand. I'll see you later. Uh... Alright, see you around. Okay, now we're going to, uh, Daiba. Okay, we, we made that, uh, awkward mistake go better. So, yeah. Let's actually do talk to Momori for real this time. Hey, yo, Momo. Hello, Miss Minamoto. <laughs> well, if you give me like that, it really makes me feel like I'm part of this business. <laughs> I guess. By the way, Mamori, weren't you participating in Music Fest? Yes, I am. My performance won't be for a while, though, so I've been working around at the other events. All the models in Music Fest are so pretty. I wonder if I can be like that when I grow up. Aw, uh, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you'll grow up to be a beautiful lady. Um, thank you. There are more things I want to do when I grow up. I'm just singing for my show. I'll try acting on stage too. But modeling. Especially singing. I learned to like singing a lot of different songs. New songs like Subasas, cool songs like Curious, and even more grown up songs like Enka. I'm sure you'll be able to do all kinds of things from now on. It's all thanks to you that I started wanting to do them in the first place. There's so many things a person can do in life. So many possibilities. And you're the one who will help me realize it. I didn't really do much, though. That's the thing. You did. You just can't see how amazing it all was. I'm sure everyone else is grateful to you, too. You think so? I know so. So please, stay with us at Fortuna. Of course! I'm glad. It's really good to know you'll be there for us. Um, well, maybe I'll go look around the other events too. Good goodbye then! And she fades out of existence as well. Even though she's right there. Your presence should be not changed. I don't see the correlation. It makes no sense. I know, so we already. Now we've already talked to Yashiro, so who is next? Well, we actually gotta go back to Shibuya and head on to the Karabia. That's the plus I can do without having to uh, do another quick cross walk transport thingy. This <laughs> makes it easier. Alright, just go on down this little walk. That's all the screaming fans that are watching the show. Look at it, it's so bright and all that. It's so awesome. Here we have the Ozumi Lesson Studio. Man, it's gonna be pretty sad not being able to see this place anymore. Once we go through here, this will be the last time we do so. So, we have to might as well cherish it. But more importantly, we go inside here. And let's take a little tip. Oh, it's Suki! How's it going? Sounds like this, our kingdom is winding down. 
Gotta go take a look around while there's still stuff to see. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I was passing by, so I thought I'd drop in. Is that how it is? Fine, just waltz in and put your feet up, you lazy bum. Why are you yelling at me now? Huh. I guess you really aren't busy these days. Place the battles over, right? You got a point. And I'm not really busy, so I'd be lying if I said that. Though I'm kind of at a loss for what to do now. The world's not in danger anymore, so... What should I do from now on? Aw, oh, team problems. Well, that just means you can think like a normal guy your age now. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> then I never thought you'd be the one cheering me up, Barry. Hey, don't worry, that's to make me, kid. I've been around the block a couple times, you know. Well, my fighting days are long gone already. Even if our battle's over, nothing much has changed for me. I'll just keep rooting for you guys from the sidelines, like I always do. Barry. As long as I can teach folks how they can move people's hearts, that's all a guy like me needs. We could only focus on all our effort into what our performance is because you were there to support us, Barry. So, thank you for everything. Huh. It's a little weird coming from a guy like you, Asuki. But I guess it's the thought that counts. Ah, hell! I gotta go or I'm gonna miss my morning performance! You just make sure you have a blast for the rest of the show, alright? I'll make sure to do so. Even though that's not gonna be very long. Because we're almost done here. Yeah, 20 whole minutes. For all this conversationalism and all that. Now for the last bit of business we have to back to for Shuna. Let's go uh, come from this Maiko, see if she's uh, alright after you know, being alone in the uh, building for so long. But actually she's not alone technically since she's got Ao right here. Actually, does she have anything to say? Tiny tight. They're all safe from Mirage's again, it's, it's all thanks to you. Huh, guess not. It all makes sense, she's not a major character in the game. She has her moments, but that's that. Moments. Oh, it's Suki. You ended up coming back to the office anyway, huh? I was passing by, so I died stopping. Aw, oh, you didn't come running back hoping to catch up with me? Oh, I'm just heartbroken. So did you take a look around? It's still pretty busy out there, isn't it? This peace and all that excitement. You were the ones who stood up to protect it all. It's still a little hard to believe. <laughs> Is it? You really managed to accomplish something amazing, Suki. I mean, you saved the world. And I think it back. It all started when I heard you see my fortune. Yeah. Feels like it was so long ago. I guess a lot really has happened since then. You really caught me off guard when you asked me to join. I can imagine. But I have to say it, Suki. I'm glad I did. Not just for the sake of fighting mirages, but for everyone here at Fortuna. You really leave an impression on those around you. Thanks to that, everyone's changed for the better. It's no exaggeration to say that Fortuna will have today. It's no exaggeration to say that Fortuna we have today will build, was built up by you. Oh, why don't you go say hi to Tiki as well? I'm sure she'd love a visit. After all, she's the reason we can sit back and enjoy an event like this. We can't be the Mirage without her. Hmm. I think that's actually a new piece of dialogue. Did she, originally, didn't she say that we should go talk to the others? Like prior? I don't know. But, hey, that's a perfect transition, if I, if I say so myself. Because, there's a feeling of finality in the air as if beyond the door lies the end of your story. Once we open this door, there's no turning back. So, if you guys are following along with me, well, go do anything they want. Well, not that there's much to do anyway. If you your trophies, you can go uh, buy stuff from the vending machines, go to cafes, what have you. But as of now, part two of this true finale has come to its end. Let's head on through head towards the end of our story. Ah. 
feels good to be back here. Tiki. And everyone else? What's going on? Hey brother. There's something we need to tell you. What is it? What's with the sun for Mountie? It's Suki. I think it's time we head back to our own world. Huh? We've managed to regain our pasts, Isuki. And the danger that threatened you in this world is now gone. There's no longer any reason for us to stay here. We all got our memories back. Yes. Slaying that damn dragon must have done the job. We've all learned much from you. Your bonds, your dedication. We want to take those experiences home. And he wants to revive the performing arts back in our world. Performing arts? If we're going to rebuild that ruined land, I think having those arts will help us a lot. Isn't it dangerous? I mean, I thought all of that was forbidden so Medeus couldn't come back. He'd be risking a lot. We'll be fine, Suki. Medeus can revive as many times as he wants. We'll be there to strike him down again. You and the others have already taught us the strength that. So, we can go back. No regrets. Uh, don't go. You can just stay here, right? It's Suki. From, I want you to stay. Is that not a good enough reason? I don't want to lose my precious friends! Thank you, Itsuki. I know how you must feel. But we're outsiders this world. We don't belong here. We have a place that needs us. I understand. and everyone else. Sorsuki, your words bring me more joy than you know. Hehehe, <laughs> you're not bad. I just might have gotten a little attached to you. Mitsuki, my friend, my sole regret is that we did not have the opportunity to sit and truly talk as nobles do. Trivially, peacefully, Brought this world against our wills. And in the end, it was a hidden blessing for allowed our paths to cross. Thank you, Sir Tsuki, for deeming us your friends. Truly, there is no higher honor. Everyone. By the power of friendship and CT's wisdom, especially the power of Naga. Farewell, my friend from another world. Thank you, big brother. I'm I'm really glad I had a chance to meet all of you. All the time I spend in this world, I'll treasure it and keep it close to my heart. Thank you, and I hope. I'll see you again someday. Everyone. I know we've seen this before, but it's still so touching. I'm so tearful. Uh, in that case... reached our journey's end. I guess from here on out, we just gotta smile. Smile for the future that we have. And no matter what happens, never back down. <laughs> Thank you, Big 
緊張する翼はレコーディングの経験あるでしょだだ,だってキリアさんフォルトナ5周年のメモリアルソングですよなんだか私も緊張してきちゃいましたとちんじゃねえぞエリーあ,あ,あ,あ,あなたこそ私のハリウッド的コーラスにチェックして歌えなくなるんじゃないみんな気を張らなくていいのよリラックスしていきましょう安心しろ青い月お前の背後は俺が守る背後というか私たちバックコーラスですあみんな録音始まるみたいだよいつきくん頑張ってねあ,あ And here we go again My friends for Tokyo Mirage Sessions by our emblem And now I can know the song That this is called Smile Smile Which is why I said that twice See you get that little segregation and all that Huh huh Yeah it was uh something <sighs> Well See yeah, that was pretty much part two You know we're not done quite yet of course As I already mentioned. You know what? I'll let this play out for you guys. I didn't give you guys much of that opportunity before.
we go. Hope you guys enjoyed that again. Uh, well, a few songs that I really... I didn't enjoy them all, but this one, this, that one specifically I enjoy a lot. And now back to this. Now since... And I actually kind of noticed this when I was doing this. Um, turns out each of these little dialogue things, you know, talking about what happens to each character. If you complete all those side stories, you'll get one of the, these uh, versions, and if you don't, you'll get another version. So basically, you get different things that actually contribute to that. Which is kind of a nice touch that I found out. Go so check this. Uh, but you want to know how I know that? Well, I'll show you guys in a second once we actually get through this. So, Spouser Reby, the sacred idol. Thanks to Fly You're My Wind, she won various awards starting with Rookie of the Year, and left her name in history as a legendary idol. However, she wasn't satisfied just with that, and continues to work hard during her lessons, aiming to even for four even greater heights. Toma Kage, the awakened hero, after appearing as Masquerader Oga, Toma found great success as an action star. He eventually wrote, directed, and starred in his own hero movie, which was acclaimed for its action scenes, particularly those between Toma and his co-star, the up-and-coming Riku Suzumoto. Ah, good times, good times, my friend Riku. Kiria Kurono, a new Kiria. Kiria's new style of being cool and cute becomes popular across the world, making her an international star. The Japanese for the trend, Kakoa Kawaii enters common parlance across languages, and Kiria's voice continues to spread throughout the world. Eleanor Yumizuru, the Hollywood darling. Tarantino's movie became a box office hit worldwide, and Eleanor fulfilled her dream of winning Best Actress. Their national fame soon followed, and she travels the world for countless shoots and movies. Though on her off time, she can always be found back in Japan. Amori Minamoto. After performing in the Gold Silver Year and Festival, she won the opportunity for her own concert in the prestigious Bukhagen Hall. Though her first popularity came from the odd combination of flag waving and ballads, none could deny her singing ability, and she started a new god craze in Japan. He endows her Japan's granddaughter, and she is loved by all. The Ballad Empress. See, this is what I was talking about. We didn't complete her last side story, and now that we have, this appears as something new. But it's not her, only her that gets that. We'll see someone else who got that as well. Yashiro Sorugi, best of the best. Later in life, Yashiro took it upon himself to lead a production of the Pilgrim of Heinrich, his father's final production. He handled the direction and music with usual aplomb. Uh, Apple. I don't even know. And the tour found success overseas, losing his fame as a model of Japanese entertainment. Despite finding such great success at a young age, Yashiro never stops bettering himself and his skills. Barry Goodman shredded again! After composing his song for Memori, Barry returned to his music career. This news reaches his former bandmates across the sea, and they try and convince him to reclaim his death metal crown. Barry opts, instead, to rebuild the renowned Terra Death into an incredible anime music group. Because Terra Death and anime mix so well, but hey, who am I to judge? Tiki, Miracle Utaloid, and the last one who gets a new change. With the Shadow Dragon slain, Tiki and the others return to their world. There, with everyone's help, Tiki held a live concert. Before a massive audience, she sings Azuki's song with all her heart. The faint glimmer twinkling in the eyes may be the first new flicker of her forma. You don't say. And finally, Maiko Shimazaki, the legend returned. After stepping down, Maiko made a quick comeback into the following industry. Soon enough, the third volume of My Complex was published. He had dubbed her everyone's big sister, and she made many appearances in magazines, TV, radio, and countless other platforms. Now, what you guys may be wondering is, well, what's happened to the industry now? Well... If you complete all the science stories... Suki, do you have a moment to talk? Sure thing. Thanks. I call everyone else over here as well. So just hold on until everyone gets here. You got it. So what's all this about, Maiko? You just told us to all show up here for some reason. Did something happen? <laughs> everyone, I'd like to make an announcement. I, Maiko Shimazaki, have decided to return to my career as a model. What? Whoa, Miss Mako, you serious? 
Wait, maybe she's drunk up, drunk up her ass again! Toma, honey, would you kindly not talk about me as if I'm some alcoholic? Or it's like, that could hurt my image. Or are you volunteering for more jobs with manual labor? This is sorry, what happened again? Sorry! But, Smikeo, are you sure about this? Of course I'm sure. I have to get back to my work as a model. After watching Subasa and everyone works so hard, I started feeling that old, that old passion come from when I was in my prime. So, I decided to get back into the business. And since being a model and handling my presidential duties might get a little tricky, I thought I might pass the roll on. So we're getting a new president? There's nothing to worry about, Subasa. I hereby name Itsuki as the new head of Fortuna. Yep. You have every right to be surprised at Suki, my friend, as well as Yashiro and Tsubasa and everyone here. I don't blame you. Leave it all to me. This is all so sudden! Me? The president? And why not? A high schooler who also has to run a production company. Sounds like a good hook to me. Uh, but... How about everyone else? Is Suki the right guy for the job? Or do you object? Um, I agree. If Suki became president, I'd make sure to work even harder than I do now. True. I could see you being more motivated if it's Suki you're working for. Um, that's not what I mean. It's cool with me too. I've got no problems with Suki handling this. I'm for it as well. I agree. After all, Itsuki does have a talent for pulling everyone together. I'd be really happy if Itsuki became the president. It'd be reassuring. No objections. You won't hear any complaints from me! <laughs> so Itsuki's going to be the president now. I think it's a great idea. Looks like it's that, Mrs. Itsuki. You still want to refuse? Alright. I'll do it! I humbly accept the position of president. Like a true hero should. Let's make Fortuna the greatest thing in Tokyo, Japan, since who knows what. Thank you, Suki. And with that... Ooh, a spiffy new suit, Ayo! Now, this is the birth of an all-new Fortuna Entertainment. That Suki as our president. We know Suki's going to give this all to support all, give all wait, give his all to support all of you. So you all need to make sure you're there for him as well. Yeah! You can count on us. Of course we will! Acknowledged. Ha! Huh, you don't need to worry about a thing. Just sit back and watch as I rise to the top. I'll do my best too. I'll do everything I can to help it, Suki. Looks like I'm gonna have to train you guys even harder now. Um, well, everyone, I don't exactly know what needs to be done yet, and I might cause you guys some trouble at first. But I'm going to do my best to live up to Krom and Tiki's expectations, and I want you all with me. So what do you say? Are we in this together? Everyone, let's give it our all! And just like that, Itsuki Aoi, the Lord of Fortuna. Itsuki succeeded Maiko as president of Fortuna Entertainment, and though his first days were a shaky start, he grew to lead Fortuna and its members to success and fame. Perhaps this is what Itsuki had truly learned from Krom and his friends. The leadership and strength of a lord. Yeah. Like a true descendant of Marth. Even though he's not true descendant of Marth, technically, but you get the idea, it's symbolic. And just like that, they obtain the true finale. The grand finale player will record even. Excellence in the storytelling, nice. And now, saving game clear data by loading the... the the, this game clear data, a new game will start, allowing you to enjoy a second playthrough from the beginning. 
You can also carry over things like money and levels into the new game. Caution with saving though. The game clear data is a save specifically for starting another playthrough. So this game cannot be resumed. We strongly recommend that you save the game clear data in an open file or in one you do not mind overwriting. And that's where part three comes in. For to end off this series once and for all. What way what better way to do so than with the beginning of the beginning again? It's a full circle for a book ends true finale. So, I'll see you guys then. Of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed this episode. Uh, make sure to share this video with your friends should you feel a need to. And of course, if you are new here to the channel and are just seeing this series and want to see the finale part of the three-parter true finale as it comes out tomorrow, along with anything else that decides to get thrown into the mixer, then by all means, make sure you have subscribed and join the Dread Knights and Suki and the others in our quest to put this story to its book ends. But hey, until next time, this is my Angel for signing out. Have a great rest of your day, take care, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow with the final part of Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Fire Emblem. I'll catch you guys next time.